sir thank you sir seven minutes honorable chairman sir and you know how to monetize time as seven i stand minutes. here on behalf of my party the biju janata dal and my leader shri navin patnaik the honorable chief minister of orissa in support of the motion of thanks on president's address i am filled with pride on several counts first for being an odia as honorable president is the first odia to occupy this highest constitutional office of our country she is also the first tribal president of india and only the second woman president of india i salute the visionary leadership of my leader navin patnaik who as undisputed leader of 4.5 crore odias for about quarter of a century now was the first to support her candidacy to this august office sir the arthashastra mentions three important principles of good governance sarva loka kalyankari karma meaning universal welfare sarva loka sangram bhepapi sangram evapi meaning maintaining and protecting each and every one in the creation and sarva hitay rata that is securing universal care for everyone honorable chairman sir the president's address highlighted that the grand edifice of a bikshit bharat will be erected on four strong pillars women power youth power farmers and the poor sir our honorable cm navin patnaik's governance model has always centered around bringing happiness to these sections of society adopting the unique 5t model of implementation which includes transparency technology teamwork time and transformation in the words of our honorable cm who has been the flag bearer of women's empowerment in our country women empowerment is not a slogan but a non negotiable code for us since 1992 when odisha pioneered the women's political reservation under the legendary leadership of shri biju patnaik by providing 33% reservation for women in local bodies the bjd has persistently advocate for advocated for this right women led development has been the mantra of development and governance of honorable chief minister navin patnaik ever since he assumed the reins of the state in 2000 honorable cm navin patnaik was the first and the only cm in the country to nominate women to a third of bjd's <coughs> lok sabha candidates in the 2019 lok sabha elections therefore passing of the women's reservation bill in 2023 which the honorable president alluded to in our speech fills us with great satisfaction i would like to exhort the union government to consider conferring the bharat ratna on this legendary leader biju patnaik which has been a demand not just from bjd but also from some other parties who had the privilege of knowing and working with him on the economic empowerment front our mission shakti program started by honorable cm navin patnaik in 2001 has successfully transformed about 6 lakh women sgs comprising about 70 lakh women into vibrant hubs of economic activity across different sectors the union government's effort to follow the same path is praiseworthy speaking of youth power sir the union government's progressive investment in newest technology such as through artificial intelligence mission is a great step towards making india a leading digital economy this comes as an encouraging support to orissa government's recent measures in this field the orissa for artificial intelligence and the artificial intelligence for youth initiatives launched in 2023 further honorable president had rightly focused on the significance of the sports economy which is a great source of meeting the aspirations of our youth and providing opportunities to them our cm believes that investment in sports is an investment in youth investment in youth is an investment in the future from building the largest hockey stadium in the world and supporting the national hockey teams both men and women to creating state of the art infrastructure for promoting all sports amongst all sections especially women and tribals such measures have enabled odisha to move closer to the vision of becoming india's sports capital this unique sports model of odisha built around partnerships of sporting excellence competition coaching infrastructure and welfare schemes for meritorious athletes can be a blueprint for the center and other state governments honorable chairman sir farmers are the backbone of our nation former american president john of kennedy once said the farmer is the only man in our economy who has to buy everything he buys at retail sells everything he sells at wholesale and pays for the freight both ways 
thanks to the leadership of Honorable CM, Orissa is the only state in the country to double the farmer's income. This achievement has been made possible through systematic interventions and income support to all farmers, including the landless laborers and the tenant farmers through the Krushak Assistance for Livelihood Income Augmentation Scheme, the Kaliya Scheme. Through this house, I wish to fervently implore the union government to emulate the same model and expand the reach of Prime Minister Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme to encompass tenant and landless farmers and implement the MS Swaminathan Committee report in true spirit while calculating the MSP for procurement of farmers' produce. I also suggest introducing a composite blended insurance scheme customized for farmers' various needs. This inclusive plan could cover crops, agricultural tools, as well as personal insurance, such as health and accident coverage. This would save time and money for farmers and ensure comprehensive protection. Speaking of the poor, sir, the upliftment of 25 crore people from multidimensional poverty is certainly a considerable feat. Our leader, Sri Naveen Patnaik, believes that a healthy population with the right education and skill is always the <coughs> prime driving force for a prosperous nation. Orissa experienced the most notable reduction in the count of multidimensionally poor, dropping from 29.34% in 2015-16 to 15.68% in 2019-21. It has also achieved the fastest decrease in poverty in rural areas from 32.59% to 19.28%. This underlines the significance of a well-functioning social sector which is accessible and affordable till the last mile of the state. I also want to highlight the importance of social mobility. In a 2000 survey by the World Economic Forum spanning 27 nations, India emerged as a leader in residents' confidence regarding upward social mobility. This underscores the widespread belief amongst Indians that with humble beginnings and hard work, prosperity and success is an achievable and prevalent journey. However, social mobility is elusive in a society plagued by inequality of all kinds, some of it which has been historically inherited. It is the imperative that we address this inequality Please in all conclude. its forms. And I am reminded, I am reminded of the lines of Sant Bhima Bhoi, so he was one of the topmost Oriya poets sent of Mahima Dharma. He says, Mo pache norke hu, Let my soul be condemned to hell, but let the universe, universe be redeemed. So lastly, lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the vision of Vikasit Bharat would not be possible without Vikasit states. Therefore, it is imperative to uphold the principles of federalism outlined in our constitution particularly in the devolution of fiscal resources to the states, and in particular to states with historic backwardness thank and you. who regularly face thank the you, of Dr. natural Marpatnaik. disasters like Orissa. Anyway, thank you so much, sir, for Dr. giving me this opportunity. K. Kesav Rao. No, sir, I said I will speak tomorrow, if you excuse me. All right, sir. <laughs> Professor Manoj Kumar Jha.